Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Today I'm restocking Rainbow Sherbert, and I haven't made this in a forever. And I have just kind of more neon colorants. I have orange color and groovy green, both from Be Scented. Where, what is this one? This one's also magenta color from Be Scented. And then I have three from Nurture Soap. Blue Vibrance, Purple Haze, and the yellow is Yellow Vibrance. So I'm going to tone it down by putting a little bit of titanium di dioxide. I'm going to, this will just make the batter a little bit whiter so that when I do put the colors in, they won't be so vibrant. So I'm going to mix that in before I mix in my lye solution.
ahead and do some piping on the top of the soap. I put all the colors in just, these are really super inexpensive bags, um, just because I go through them so much and I can also reuse these. I spent a while, um, like over an hour, waiting for them to set up. So what I'm going to do is push them back push them all back a little bit from the tip and then I'm gonna cut it and make rows on this. I don't know if you can see, there's saran wrap on the table. Uh, and then I'm gonna pipe kind of rosettes on the top. Hopefully it's thick enough, but I've already made two other soaps in the meantime, so I'm like wanting to get this done. I should have done this before I turned the video on. I'll probably start fast forwarding. I'm just gonna do lines of each color. I have a Wilton 1M and another piping bag that I will put all of these colors into.
to cut rainbow sherbet. There's the inside of it and the top. I did have to tap it down so I wouldn't have air bubbles after I piped it. Um, so the roses are a little flat, but it did not go as planned. As you could see, I made a humongous mess, but I just went with it. Um, the I had waited forever for that for this to set up so I could I could pipe, and then I guess I should have let it sit a little bit longer after I squeezed it out on the saran wrap, or I should have used a uh, cling wrap. I wouldn't know what is it called. It's uh, the kind that's sticky. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. I should have used that probably, but it's okay. I'll know better for next time. It smells really good. I don't know if you guys can hear music outside. The neighbors have a, they're out on their screen porch and they're playing music. And there's like a guy that looks like he's trying to be a DJ. He's got like a laptop set up and he's got a microphone. So I don't know what's happening. That's kind of pretty. But it's a gorgeous day here, and of course, we're stuck inside just like everybody else. I hope you guys are doing okay with all that's going on right now. Um, I always think of families like single moms that are worried about how they're going to feed their kids and pay their bills and stuff like that. And those, like, I, it just makes me so sad to think of it because that was me one day long ago a single mom with two kids and going through nursing school and it was not an easy time so my heart goes out to those people that are struggling right now um we are our business our pest control business is basically doing nothing right now but there is a heart right there is doing basically nothing right now now because we're in myrtle beach and the hotel's shut down and we do commercial pest control so my husband's been home, which I have loved. I mean, we've done puzzles. Um, we've just we've just hung out like as a family. We also have our separate time. You know, my girls have their work to do for school. So it's just I am actually really enjoying it. Lindsay's actually home. She's my younger one, and she's a one that always wants to be on the go. But she sits outside and draws. My older daughter ordered a ukulele off Amazon, and she's been learning to play the ukulele. Um, I have several projects I want to work on. I have more soap to make. You guys act said that how much it means to you to be able to watch soap videos, and it makes you have some kind of normalcy. So I'm going to continue to do what I do, plus I'm selling a bunch of soap because, well, wash your hands, right? Everybody needs to be washing their hands. And so I'm happy to do it. But I hope you guys are all doing okay. We, um, we're supposed to close out a house next week, but we backed out. And I'll tell more about it in my next video when I'm cutting the sweet pea soap. This is like really crazy. There's a lot of colors in there. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.